What's up guys, KiwiJ3 Austin here, and today we have another unboxing to do, or rather an unwrapping. So, I have been anxiously awaiting this for the past two and a half months, ever since I did the video where I, or rather when the Bag of Decision, uh, decided which of my Sonic plushes would get which of the Chaos Emeralds that I had gotten. Of course, I did some rearranging since that video of the plushes themselves to make room for this new one. And this is the 21-inch Rouge the Bat plush from Great Eastern Entertainment. I am so excited to unwrap her right now and see what she's all about. And it almost looks like she's a mummy wrapped up in this eBay crap. So... Got my trusty scissors here, and of course, if you've seen my previous unboxings, you know I'm probably going to end up setting the camera down while I do this. And especially considering I am not uh, left-handed. Yeah, I'm going to set it down. Alright, this is slow going. Maybe we'll work on the other side. I just have to make sure not to snip her ears by mistake. They are quite big. Maybe there's a different, better way to do this. Because the corners aren't working. Oh, wait. Maybe I have enough purchase here. Maybe. Oh! Okay, I'm going to open up for this. Er, I apologize for this camera work. This is terrible. Ah. Oh my. What do we have here? Well, we have more bubble wrap. To get through. Well, more wrapping, but the bubble wrap is the first of the bubble wrap that we've seen. I don't know, I'm rambling at this point. Okay, so I finally got her unwrapped, and oh my god, does she look gorgeous. She even smells brand new. She has absolutely uh, no dirt on her whatsoever. At least not that I can see. I literally just took her out. Um... Her ears are a little mashed, but I guess that's not a huge deal. I can always uh, work on those. So, she has a tag, which I'll probably end up cutting off. Little bitty tail. And her boots. So, oh, and also, uh, thank you from Tanner. And a hand-drawn Sonic picture. You are very welcome, Tanner. That is, of course, the person I bought this from. Um, and thank you for this amazing Rouge plush. So, I don't know, she, squeezing here, she feels a little hard, like there's some kind of, a. Uh, I don't know, I almost want to say, uh, endoskeleton, but that's Five Nights at Freddy's, so that's of course not what it is, um, but there is something in there that's kind of hard. Of course, I, I don't know uh, manufacturing very well. Like, I don't know terms for, like, materials and whatnot, so I can't really... Like, I couldn't say what material this is or what the nose is, which is... I don't know if you can hear the tapping, but it's a hard nose, not a soft nose. Uh, the eyes are, well, shiny, of course. And, uh... Well, they're not... They're not like uh, Amy's eyes or Knuckles' eyes, where they're like, you know, actual eyes. Ah, she's going to fall over, okay. But they're like, I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean. So now it's time for the bag of decision portion of this video. So, the two emeralds remaining to us from the last time we did this are green and purple. And I took the papers out of the Bag of Decision to prove that this is a fair contest because, you know, Rouge the Bat, you would 
obviously associate purple with. You would definitely say that that is the better of these two for her. But I want this to be a fair contest, and I only do the bag of decision one time, so whatever happens, happens. And I just wanted to prove that I'm not cheating, so you can see the papers here, green, purple. And we're going to open up the bag and take a look inside it and see that there's no papers in here. Of course, there's folds, but, you know, the way the bag is, you can't really help that with the folds. So, we're going to put the uh, papers in. See them in there. And we're going to close it up as best we can and shake it up. Get them mixed up so I have no idea which of the two I'm going to draw Okay, and now I'm just going to mix them up, and I'm going to draw one. Oh, and it's purple! Oh, as it happens, Rouge gets the one that happens to be the one more suited for her. So, Rouge now has the purple emerald, and that means that the green one is permanently mine. So, now let's move Rouge to her permanent home. And that is right here. Now, I could have her stand, but I believe her legs bend. I haven't actually tried yet. Okay, so they, they kind of bend, but like they don't stay very well. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you standing, even though all the others of them are sitting. So you're going to have to stand, unfortunately. I'll set you up later. Okay, I got her. I got her. Okay. And we'll put her uh, emerald with her. So there she is. That is the 21-inch Rouge the Bat plush from Great Eastern Entertainment. I am very happy that I now own this plush, and she is a great companion to the other five. So that's about it. Um, once again, I want to thank Tanner the Seller for the amazing drawing of Sonic, which is over there on the bed. It's really good. I love it a lot, and I'm definitely keeping it. And I'm also very happy with Rouge the Bat. She... Focus! Thank you. She is also really, really good. So thanks to Great Eastern Entertainment for that. And thank you everybody for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So until then, peace out.